Very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Rexon, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea, speaking to you all in the month of September 2019 in this part two video. Um, we are reading from a wonderful article to you all, um, the Plain Truth magazine, from the late Herbert W. Armstrong. The late Herbert W. Armstrong. Having said that, brothers and sisters, without further ado, let the reading begin. Of course, the title of the, the, the topic is the, um, the Coming Messiah in Prophecy. God's kingdom will put an end to the man, gov man government. It should bring God's government and last forever Isaiah spoke of this time and it shall come to pass in the end of the days that the mountain of the kingdom of the Lord house shall be established on top of the mountains kingdoms and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow flow unto it Isaiah 2 verse 2 it shall be a time of regathering of the scatter Israel Isaiah the China Israel house of Israel Isaiah 27 verse 13 God rule will be established throughout the earth but I asked myself what did the New Testament that was written in Greek not Hebrew have to do with these prophecies I continue with my study of Daniel he wrote I beheld till Jones government was, car was placed and one that was ancient of days Jesus Christ had said his raiment was white snow and the hair of his head like pure bulk. His throne was his throne, his throne, his throne. The throne of God, his throne. His throne. A fiery fire flame and the wheel thereof for burning fire. Daniel 7 verse 9. This is no other than God Almighty on his glorious throne. Now we come to some eye-opening verse. I saw in the night vision, and behold, three there came with the clouds of heaven, one like unto the Son of Man, and he came to the even to the ancient of days, and he was brought near before him, and there was given him a dominion and glory and the kingdom that all people, nations, and language shall serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Verse 1314. Who is this man? Man, who is this son of man? Jesus Christ. It is evident that God crowned him as king or king of the entire earth so that he may establish God's kingdom and rule forever. Is he a human being? If so, what human should be given such a high and mighty honor? Let's see what one can find out from the book of Isaiah about this coming ruler. For your child is born unto us, his son is given unto us, and the government is upon his shoulder, and his name is called uh, the Wonderful Counselor, the, the, the God Almighty, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, that, that the government may be increased and of his government may be increased and of peace there will be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it true justice and true righteousness. From henceforth, even forever, the seal of the Lord of hosts to perform this Isaiah 9 verse 5 and 6. Some of our Jewish commentators are of the opinion that Isaiah were talking about a man living in is they they think this passage may refer to Hezekiah king of Judah the son of king of Judah but notice this son should establish the throne of David forever Hezekiah never did this he died as a mortal man I notice the title of this individual they are too great of to apply to any ordinary man the Jewish Encyclopedia recognized this is a reference to a greater king, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Isaiah 
continue and there shall come forth a shoot, a shoot out of the stalk of Jesse King David the father and the twig shall go forth out of the, his root and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and my the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and decide with equity for the meat of the land and he shall smit the land with the rod of his mouth words of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked Isaiah 11 verse 1 and 2 for this child is to be a descendant of Jesse King David father in his time there shall be peace and knowledge of God worldwide verse 9 all nations will seek his root of Jesse will stand Israel will be deliver a second time from captivity verse 11 this can only be that son of man mentioned in Daniel there is only one time of worldwide peace mentioned in the scriptures once it starts it will last forever this world ruler is even greater than King David of Israel Daniel mentioned that the righteous will be redirected to glory from their graves Daniel uh, 12 3 12 2 and 3 yeah, these saints will also rule the earth under the great King Jesus Christ Daniel 7 18 22 27 I found most Christians commentators do not understand these ways the Hebrew scriptures also explain that King David one of the resurrected saints will be ruler over all the tribes of Israel in the new government of peace Isaiah Ezekiel 34 verse 23 24 37 37 24 37 chapter 20, 20 chapter 37 24 25 Jeremiah 30 verse 9 but David recognized that his future should future future world ruler was over was over him in authority in Psalms 10 110 he called this ruler my lord the lord said unto my lord sit thou on my right hand until i make his enemies thy footstool rules and it is clear from the above passage that david is talking about the great king to come jesus christ we already saw in daniel 7 that the king comes near god throne in heaven Yet this king, yet this king is prophesied to be born in David, lineage from the tribe of Judah. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will rise unto David a righteous shoot, and he shall reign as king and prosper, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his day, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he, he shall be called the Lord our righteousness Jeremiah 23 5 and 6 a similar scriptures is found in Jeremiah 33 Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 15 and 16 yes brothers and sisters so I stop up the dear it talking about Jesus Christ the coming Messiah our Lord and our Savior our King and our God he is coming back to the earth with all the like holy angels with him in power and glory as king of kings and lord of lords to establish the wonderful kingdom of god to establish upon the earth don't you know that when god created all the angels all of them was in that wonderful beautiful nice good kingdom the kingdom of god yes lucifer was in that wonderful kingdom all the angels that joined lucifer was in that wonderful kingdom yes brothers and sisters God did not keep Michael and Gabriel and the like holy angels in that kingdom alone, but put Lucifer and his angels that join him in a wicked evil kingdom someplace. God did not have two kingdoms. God did not have a good kingdom and an evil kingdom. So in the good kingdom was God the Father. This is as an example. He didn't have a, a, a good kingdom, only a good kingdom, but in that kingdom was Michael, Gabriel, 
and they let all the angels. But in the evil kingdom, he put Lucifer and his other angels across there. No, he put all the angels who he loved equally with that equal divine love in the one kingdom of God. So Michael, Gabriel and Lucifer and all the angels was in the said wonderful kingdom of God, the divine government of God. How noble, how wonderful, excellently wonderful on the part of God that he put all the angels that he love in that said one place, the kingdom of God. And it is that said kingdom of God government that Jesus Christ is coming to establish upon the earth to bring peace to this world. So why? Because there's a glorious tomorrow. Brothers and sisters, the wonderful world tomorrow, as Herbert W. Armstrong described it. When mankind will live in peace and love and goodness and happiness and peace, true peace and love and, and outflowing love to one another, living in peace and love with one another and harmony, in the kingdom of God, the government of God, man will truly um, experience the joy of God, the love of God, the peace of God, the posterity of God, the tranquility of God, the happiness of God, the righteous rulership of God in the kingdom of God, brothers and sisters, that Jesus Christ is coming to bring and establish upon the earth, brothers and sisters. This is what the, 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 these verses are teaching. So all the verses I've mentioned in this part two video, please check out all the ver verses in your Bible study each day in your Bible studies each day of the week and night and please have our original King James Bible to study the words of God brothers and sisters so I instruct you all that to those who have not accept Christ as yet make that decision and accept Christ today as a personal Lord and Savior look for a Bible believing church close to you that observes Saturday as a Sabbath day go there introduce yourself to the saints do Bible study with them whether on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday day or night repair for baptism baptize accept Jesus Christ of course, we are keeping the commandments of God and going out and telling others about Jesus Christ and winning souls because see that winner souls is wise and telling people about the, the, the kingdom of God to come, that the government of God to come, the, that Jesus Christ has come to establish to bring peace to this world. How wonderful, how wonderful indeed, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters brothers and sisters so i end it on that note brothers and sisters in this part two video brothers and sisters and the title of this part two video as the or the or the same title of part one um the coming messiah in prophecy and that is jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters so shalom peace see you all in the next video soon bye bye my friends